Hey guys, so today's video is going to be uh, two looks inspired by I Love Sari, also known as Karen here on YouTube and also I Love Sari e on Instagram. So as you can see by the thumbnail, I am doing two uh, looks that she has posted over the last couple of months. I will be posting links to these below, but uh, let's get started with the first look. So I'm going to be starting with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to be applying that all over my eyelids as a base. Next, and uh, you'll see in a moment, I actually forgot to hold it up to the camera, but I'm taking the Minted Mojito shade from one of the uh, Fenty Beauty, oh, what are these called again? Kilowatt Foil Highlighters. Here we go, holding it up now. So this came out with the Beach Collection. We've had this in Australia for a little bit, for a little while now, uh, but I've only just recently gotten around to playing with them, and I'm absolutely in love. I think these make fantastic eyeshadows. It probably even more so than highlighters, which is what they're designed for. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Poolside, this purpley shade here from uh, one of the other kilowatt highlighters from the Beach Collection, and just applying that all over the centre of the lid. Taking a slightly more defined brush and the shade 7 Day Weekend, I'm just sort of going to be patting that uh, over the centre of that purple shade that we apply, just like Sarah E did in a video, or Karen I should say, that is her actual name. Uh, now I did not buy the third kilowatt highlighter duo from the collection, the one that had the pink and the orange. So I'm taking this Urban Decay shade that I depotted for my 15 year anniversary palette. It's, it is in the shade Junk Show, which you can also buy as a single. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Mandarin from the Natasha Denona Sunset palette and applying that sort of on the outer outer corner, sorry, in, in my rush I sort of forgot to mention where I'm placing the colours but this is a uh, I Love Sarah E inspired look and because I will be posting a link to her actual video in the description box she definitely goes into more detail obviously as she created this look. Uh, going back in with Junk Show, just sort of intensifying the pink and then just taking a fluffy brush and diffusing everything, blending everything out. Now going in with mascara for my top lashes, this is the, oh gosh I keep forgetting the name of this one, it is by L'Oreal and it's part of the telescopic range, I will put the full name in the description box below. Uh, going in with Junk Show again, we're going to be focusing on the lower lash line before we continue with bottom mascara and everything. Uh, going back in with Poolside and just taking that along the lower lash line as well, sort of towards more the middle part. And then finally Mandarin again and just sort of diffusing the pink on the outer corner a little bit to make everything nice and blended and to sort of marry the colours a little bit. Next we're going to be taking 7 Day Weekend, uh, taking that even closer to the inner corner. As you can see we're sort of repeating what we did on the upper lid to the lower lid. Taking Minted Mojito and focusing this on the inner corner of the eye as this is going to be our inner corner highlight as well. Finally onto your bottom mascara, taking the Innisfree Micro Cara, or Skinny Micro Cara, Micro Cara I believe it's called. Uh, I feel like this wasn't quite as intense as I wanted it to be so I ended up going in with the L'Oreal mascara to sort of like add, make my lashes look even blacker and even more defined and these, now I'm taking the Ardell Baby Wispies, I applied those off camera and now going in with my NARS Contour Blush Duo in Olympia and just contouring as you can see. Now we're going in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Delizioso Pink. I really hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I thought this was a really fun shade to go with this look. Now I'm going to highlight with the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Just sort of taking that across sort of the high points of my face as you can see. Now going, oh this is me realising that this lash was not stuck down properly. Um, so that was my frowny face as I went off camera to readjust it. So now we're back applying the Colourpop lipstick in the shade Cheetah. This is exactly what I love Sarah E used. She also went in with the Colourpop gloss in, oh gosh, Double Agent, that's it. <laughs> and applying that as well. I thought this look was super intense with the purple lip and I also actually went out after this and I didn't quite feel comfortable with such a purple lip and this eye look. I feel like it was super super intense. Um, so I ended up 
wiping off this uh, lip combo. So here I am uh, wiping off the lipstick and then I decided to go in with the NYX lip liner in the shade Dolly Pink which I will be applying shortly there we go just sort of lining my lips and filling them in just a little bit because then we're going to be going in with the MAC lipstick in Pink Nouveau over top. And this is the final look. Sorry it was very rushed, but you know it is a look inspired by I Love Sarah E and she has obviously all the details on her video which will be linked below. Okay, now jumping straight into the next look, uh, starting again with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Bot and just applying that all over my lids. Next, uh, again, once again, I've forgotten to show what I'm using. I'm taking this uh, light matte vanilla shade from the Baked Browns palette from Dose of Colors. I thought, well, I'm going to be using I Love Sari E's collab with Dose of Colors for this makeup tutorial. Might as well use other palettes from uh, the brand as well. So going in with my first shade from the palette, which is, I believe it's Loungy. Yes, Loungy. And uh, I, you will notice that I spent a lot of time building up this shade, just very, very gradually. It was quite a deep shade on my fair skin for a transition shade, uh, so I just spent a lot of time building it up. Now going in with the shade Wanderlust and just sort of deepening up the outer corner and the crease with this. Uh, I, did, I did spend a lot of time building up this colour as we will be going in with the black shade very soon. Finally going in with the shade Wanderlust which is the black shade in the palette with the little sparkles in it and just applying this with a flat brush all over the lid. Um, I, In hindsight I kind of wish I had have gone in with perhaps a, a matte black cream shade as my base instead and then applied this on top to make it a really really intense black smoky eye but I guess because I noticed in um, uh, the video where Karen did this look, it was her chit chat get ready with us video that she did on makeup Shayla's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, they both use the I Love Sarah E palette to get ready and this is the this is inspired by the look that Karen did and I noticed that she just went straight in. She used the P. Louise eyeshadow base um, but she did not use any black pencil or any any sort of like black cream product. She basically just went straight in with this black eyeshadow once she did her transition and crease colors and I just spent a lot of time layering this up um, as you can see I've got deep set eyes so I feel a bit f funny doing a black, full on black smoky eye. I, I personally feel like they don't really suit me or I need to keep experimenting and figure out a way how I can make a black, full on black eyeshadow all over my lid look wearable on my eye shape because sometimes it just looks like I've been punched in the face. Uh, looking at this footage now it does look super messy I promise it does get cleaner as we get closer to the end of the eye makeup and once I have my foundation everything done because obviously for this this video rather than doing my foundation first like the first video I decided to uh, do my eyeshadow first because I'm using a lot of black and there was tons of fallout as you can plainly see Next, going in with liquid liner. This is the Oh My Line by Etude House in Black. So just doing a cat eye with this. Okay, with that done, foundation, mascara, lashes, liner, brows, do it have done all that off camera as you can see. I used uh, my favorite 
Daiso lashes in 01. Um, I used some black eyeliner, as you can tell. I then took um, the shade Wanderlust. Oh, whoops, I got my colors mixed up. The black shade is called Finders Keepers, not Wanderlust. Taking Wanderlust and Finders Keepers below the bottom lash line. Um, and yeah, and just sort of like blending them in, making it extra smoky along the bottom lash line, as you can see. Next, taking the shade Poquito Mas. Uh, hopefully I did that pronunciation justice and just using this as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. Karen ended up going in with the beautiful emerald greeny shade called Palmer in the inner corner, but I decided to leave that off. I thought the look was super intense on my deep set eyes already. So here is the look up close. Hopefully I did it some kind of justice, but I'm very new to black smoky eyes. Next, I'm not really going to contour today. I decided, I decided to just keep the face soft and just bronze with this Physician's Formula bronzer and just sort of giving myself a bit of colour, I suppose. I feel like with such an intense look like this, sometimes a chiselled contour isn't really the best way to go, at least, at least in my opinion. I do like a bit of colour to the skin, though. Next, taking another Milani blush in the shade Lumin Luminoso. I haven't used this shade in such a long time, I can't even remember the name of it. And just applying that to my cheeks. And then we're going to be taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and just applying that to all the high points of the face, but mainly to the tops of the cheeks where I like to highlight the most. Taking the Innisfree Skinny Micro Cara again and now we're going to be going back to our lower lashes and taking this Sports Girl Lipstick, I believe it is I believe it is in the shade Barely There, I will be putting that in the description box below in case I got that name wrong and just applying that, not really worrying about a lip pencil at this stage. Finally, we're going to be going in with the lip gloss. Well, one of the lip glosses from the I Love Sai AM Dose of Colors collab. This is in the shade Brio, and it is, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, it's just sort of the sparkly gold one. And uh, this is the final look. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope I did these looks justice. Again, they're just inspired by I Love Sara E. Not trying to be her, not trying to copy her. I just love her makeup looks and her style and her overall personality. So thank you all again so much for watching. Bye, guys.